G'day guys, Haroot from Ocean Protect. Another short video here on um, on bioretention, commercial bioretention. I uh, I came across this sporting field um, the other day actually, kicking the ball around uh, with the young fella and I noticed that um, this bioretention is actually collecting the stormwater um, from the complex. But I also had a think about the material that comes off these playing fields. If we look at the bioretention, we'll go have a look in a sec in a bit more detail. But if you look at the bioretention uh, outlet pit, outlet structure, you can see all these little rubber beads. Quite a bit of sediment in there as well. Um, but this is the material um, that comes off the sporting field. You can see all this here. Now, I, it made me wonder what happens with this, with this material. Where is it going? Where does it, where does it end up when the system drains? This is the outlet structure. I'm not sure if you can see in the bioretention system. Uh, and there are beads in there. So it just made me wonder, are we thinking about what's actually happening when we're designing up these systems? And is it in the actual system itself? Does it look good? Not fabulous. Is it an issue? No, it just needs some, uh, some tender love and care. Is there material in here? Is there some of this bead material? There is, so you can see it in there. So this, these little rubber pellets that are in the surface of the playing structure are actually in the bioretention system as well. Um, is that a bad thing? I'm no expert, but it's just the point that you've got to think about the application. You've got to think about what's happening, what's upstream, what pollutants are going to come into the system, and what maintenance is required for stormwater um, treatment systems, WCD, um, whether it's replicated, other, other types of devices, GPTs, proprietary filters. You've got to think about what, what you're actually doing, how you're servicing them, um, what they're going to need. Something to think about.